Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name's Rachel and welcome back to the 12 days of Christmas decluttering. So we are now on day four. I will leave a link up above for the 12 days of Christmas decluttering playlist so you can go back through any of the other ones that we've already done. So for the first day of Christmas decluttering, I asked you to spend 15 minutes decluttering any area that you like. For the second day of Christmas decluttering, I asked you to find any items that you could donate or sell. For the third day of Christmas decluttering, we did a surface declutter and we went round the whole house and cleared off all the sides and surfaces and it made a huge difference to how we felt. So for the fourth day of Christmas decluttering, I give to you a wardrobe declutter. So I have done a decluttering video for the wardrobe before, I'll leave the link up above, but this time I'm going to do it slightly different. I'm going to first of all have a look at the whole wardrobe and then I'm going to look at finding a way of making it work and I'll tell you why in just a second. Okay, the reason that I'm going to do it differently this time is because of this pile down here. I'm sure I'm probably not the only person that is guilty of taking clothes off and stopping them in a the pile. Um, but this is my problem area and this is something that I have noticed that other people have got a little trick that they're doing to kind of make it a little bit easier to manage those clothes that aren't quite ready for washing but are still wearable and finding a way of having them somewhere. So I'm hoping that in my decluttering that we can find a space that I can make in my wardrobe that can be suitable just for those clothes so that I do not have these piles on the floor. In the minute there's one part, let's go out by. Okay, so let's have a look inside the wardrobe and see what we're looking at here. Okay, on surface level it doesn't look too bad, but I am fully aware that I've got lots of things in here that just aren't organised and tidy. So I'm going to first of all go through all the items on this side and see if there's anything that I'm not too sure if I want to keep. And then I'm going to do my traditional try it on and see if I like it. That's the best method that I find helpful if I'm not sure on an item. I need to try it on and see whether or not it fits and whether or not I am likely to be able to pair it up with something else to make it work. So I'm going to create a maybe pile on the bed for this. So I've got my own pile over there. Before I get started in trying those on, I'm just going to try and sort these into a kind of rainbow colour in their section. So I've got all dresses um, here. So I'll put those into the rainbow order. And then I've got um, blouses and then I've got jumpers here and cardigans. So I've sorted out these ones here, the jumpers. Another thing that I was thinking about was actually making sure that I stored anything that was purely only ever summer into a separate box so that they weren't taking up any space here and I wasn't seeing them all the time because I just know that I can't use them. So I want to have a look at that as well. Um, I think this is like a prime example. I would only ever use this in the summer. So I need to have somewhere separate for this. I'm gonna create a separate pile for that. I'm not sure if you can see but but the idea is that actually this is giving a lot more clarity when I'm looking at my dresses as to know which one I want to go for because I only have a limited number it's much easier to find something if they're in colour order that's much more appealing for me to look at as well so that's all the clothes. I do have spare hangers obviously which I need to look at filling I've also got some things to wash and I'm going to try on those other clothes in a minute 
As you can see down here, I've got lots of stuff that's happening, so I just need to sort this out. I've got shoes that probably don't need to be up here, but again, these are summer only. I would literally only wear them in the height of summer, so that can go in my summer pile. So I've got swimming costumes. There's a separate place that I store swimming costumes, so I'm not quite sure why that's there. And these are scarves, so I think I'm quite happy with having a scarf basket. And these are all rolled up for easy use. I think the reality is there are probably some scarves that I don't use. I really like this and this and this. That's a really small one, so actually I probably don't need that one anymore. I quite like the colouring of this one, so I think I'd keep this one. difficult areas so this is my active wear so this is all the things that I do regularly use it's like my badminton gear and my gym gear and it's also using this kind of box here that's underneath that's kind of hooked onto there so I use that for all my bottoms bottom halves so I'm just going to go through this now these are a few items that I know that I can wear again so this is again what I'm talking about I need a space for these going through the bottoms so I've got these ones that I'm really and I, I like the food of them but I just don't ever wear them so I think that's something that I can definitely think about getting rid of these are kind of comfies for around the, the house that I do like these are shorts I think I need separate spaces for shorts and for long longer bottoms for spots so these ones I'm not a fan of and I do find that they pull down quite a lot so I think I'll get rid of these ones. These ones I wear all the time, I wear those for school definitely and for most activities so I think they're good enough. These are tops that I wear so I do wear these. I need to find somewhere to put these when I sort this. This is what I mean about this being my swimwear selection. Actually, I've already got a space that they go, and all of those swim outfits are fine, so I can keep those. Um, I do really like this one, I know it's very flashy, but it's quite good in winter for running. And these are my hiking shorts, so I've got a good selection of shorts now. And this is my cycling gear, not that I've been cycling for a very long time, but that is my cycling gear, so that can have a home as well. And that's for badminton, that's my squat. And these are various things as well. Right, let's have a look at these. I've got some caps, some that I've actually got from doing a swimathon, but I actually don't like some caps, so I'm not really sure why I still got them. Um, I did find it quite helpful to have gloves for cycling, so I will keep those. And these are wrist supports that I had when I was having some difficulty with my carpal tunnel, but that's a few years back. So actually I don't need those anymore, they can go. And I'm not a huge fan of this swimsuit, so actually I've got plenty of swimsuits that can go. Oh, that's my headband, I do use that. So, and I have this area for the big bulky hoodie and hoodie, but yeah, actually they're both hoodies, so they can go there. So now I need to find a space for them all. I think swimwear can go in one of these top ones, cycle gear can go in one of these other ones, my badminton gear can go in one. So that's those top three, so let's put those back. I think rolling them is probably my best bet because I can access 
accessory easily enough and look neat enough. You can always add that to that if I need to. Uh, I'm not a fan of this one, so actually I'm going to get rid of that one. That one's quite old. Got plenty of other running tops at the minute. I'm not doing an awful lot of running because of my hip and energy levels, so actually that can go. But I do like sportswear. So I'm actually going to create tops, tops and shorts. Sections in here as well. And the best idea is to kind of wrap bikinis and make sure they're all in together. And I set. So I'm just folding them all and then rolling them. I fold them in half. I think that just gives me the best, best appealing look. I think that's a ma ma Marie Kondo method. Folding place. All shorts are together, all trousers are together, so that's much better. Let's go to the middle section now. So these are all tops. I'm just gonna move this one whilst I look at this area. I tend to put pajamas to the side. But I'm quite happy to find those another home. I think this is an area that I could really do with having the holding kind of station for clothes that need to be worn. But yeah, I don't know how best to do that, whether that works. Have a space here. Oh, I can have it, could have it on the side. And does that make it difficult to access? Okay, so let's have a think about this one. I think maybe this. I'm not sure what to do about turtlenecks. I'm finding that, I used to love them, I used to like them, but I'm now finding it really restrictive around my neck. I don't know if it's just that the sizing's not right. But I think those are going to be something that I'm actually going to declutter today. And if it's not something I'm happy with, and they're really thin ones anyway, so I think they've had their time. What? Well, them. See, I did used to like them. I've got lots of t-shirts that are just kind of around the house t-shirts, or I don't know, just lounging t-shirts. This one's from a handy. But I really love this one. Um, what I'm going to do is fold them and mould them. This is another one that's like close up to my neck. I'm not entirely sure. I think I'll keep this one because out of all of them, this one is not, not as bad. looking quite tired so I think I'm, the colour's gone. I don't think that's what I keep it. Those are the ones that I lay with things. Strappy tops can go down. I've got much more of those but they're actually in the wash. And um, these are just casual t-shirts which I think could probably go here. Potentially I've got space there to put clothes that are tops that, that need to be worn again. It's slightly different for trousers because you know you're going to use trousers more than once anyway. But I think that could be a designated space there. Okay, last section to think about and I've just had to move this down here because I realised that I couldn't then put it at the top where I've changed the angle of my top organiser. So here I've got skirts and then here I've got shorts and trousers. So I'm quite happy with the skirts and how they work. I did wear this the other day and I was um, happy with how it fitted and things. And these are all relatively new, so those are all staying. 
and I like what, the way that they're presented. And these are ones that I have in do not fit anymore. So these ones I need to try on. And this is what I mean about my summer only outfits. These are the ones here. So actually, I think I might use this space as somewhere to store them. time to try on some of my outfits and see whether or not they are a fit or if I want to keep them. So here goes. Okay. This is a hard one for me because I really love the trousers. I love the cut of them. Fine. Fits. I think I'm going to keep this a bit longer and wonder whether or not I can see if I can let out some of the sides a little bit, see if it makes it a little bit more forgiving. I think it's more when I sit. Okay, I really do like this one, but it's definitely too tight here, so I have to let this one go. I think I will keep this one because it's still quite a nice fit. And I do like the way that it feels on my body, so I think I'll keep this one. Okay, this one I think I, I, it's not as tight as the other one that I just got rid of, but I think I'll keep this one as a as I do like the pattern and the design, so it's this one we can stay. Uh, I think I will keep this one. I was a bit worried that it was going to be tight up here or too short, but actually it's okay. I think I'm going to keep this one. So I think I will keep this one. I was a little bit worried that it was a little bit dated, but I do get the old comment on this one, so I think I'll keep this one. This is a new dress that I bought, but I'm not entirely sure what I think. I'm not sure if I like the top half. I think I'm going to ponder this one. Um, it doesn't feel as tight as it did the rest of my tried it, so maybe maybe it's okay now. It did feel really tight the first time, so I probably lost a little bit of weight. So undecided. Okay, this one is a new one that I bought uh, for a wedding last year, but I haven't, I haven't decided if I like it or not. I do like the fact that it has like this peplum style. Um, but I don't know if it kind of draws attention to this area, but it does fit nicely. I'll be lucky to that. I have got a wedding coming up, so it could be worth keeping. Here's a change of mind. Okay, this top that I bought in the summer in like this sales department, sales area, and I like the colour, I like the pattern, I can around the neck and stuff. I just don't like the way it feels and it irritates me. I find it a little bit itchy. So I think this is a no. So in theory, I do like it. It's um, nice and soft, but I just find myself not wearing it. Just don't know what it is, but it just doesn't feel me. So it just doesn't feel my kind of style. I think this one is gonna have to go. Okay, I have this one because I use it for interviews. I didn't I haven't been for an interview for a while. Um, I haven't really used it. And even like if I was to go on a night out, it's not a jacket that 
that I would want to wear. It just feels too formal. So I think this one needs to go. That's my final item that I need to decide on. So hopefully that's freed up some space in my wardrobe so that I can see what I want to wear more easily. I think you can agree that actually that's made a huge difference going through my wardrobe. It was good to try on the things that I was unsure about and it just made it a lot quicker to be able to go through and declutter. So there was instantly items I knew that I could get rid of, instantly items that I needed to try on and check and other items I just needed to be organised a bit more carefully. So I'm really happy with the finished product in my wardrobe and I feel like I can see everything really clearly. I know it fits and I know it works for me. Hopefully you have a go at this too. I'd love to know how you get on with your declutter in the comments below. And I will see you soon for day five of 12 days of Christmas decluttering. Take care. Bye.